Hey guys, I'm in the Ani shop and I'm gonna talk about the Packout shop storage system today in this video. I'm super excited to show you a whole bunch of new stuff. If you've been following me for a while, you know how into the Packout system I am. I'm super invested. I just got all my shop stuff set up. Let's take a tour. All right, so let's get into the details on how this system actually works. Originally, when Packout came out, they had this wall plate. This could be mounted on the wall, on the truck bed, on a workbench, something like that. And they give you a really good secure position for either a double wide or a single wide Packout box. All right, now they've changed those plates a little bit to accommodate for different layouts, different size boxes, and different components of this new storage system. They've gotten with a single wide plate, they've got the double, and now they've got the triple. So these all fit nicely next to each other, kind of um, the way that they're molded, they kind of interlock in a way, but they all have multiple screw points on them for mounting, and they can hold quite a bit of uh, weight. Every one of these plates can hold up to 50 pounds. That's an engineered rating, so you know they probably hold a little bit more than that. All right, let's get into some of the details and different components that came out with this storage solution. All right, along with the new plates, they've come out with a ton of new components for this system. Paper towel holders, that's actually really, uh, that's actually a lot more useful than I thought it was gonna be. I'm actually got, I've got a couple rolls of tape on there. I liked it so much, I got a second one. Uh, I think this is a really cool component. Now they lock and unlock off the system very easily, just like that. And so this is really kind of how this system is working with a lot of these components. You've got a articulated kind of uh, mechanical locking uh, cam kind of situation here that is gonna spread out and lock itself onto the hanging system like that. Very cool, innovative. Uh, when I first saw the paper towel holder, I was like, eh, I don't know, but actually very useful. Now you might recognize these boxes, okay? These boxes were, are, these bins are just like the bins that come in the organizer uh, boxes. However, they do come with some dividers in them and they're packaged in like packs of three, packs of two, stuff like that. Very cool. Um, I'm tr really just trying to figure out how to use these. I think these would work really well over top of like a workbench. All right, so moving on, we've got a shelf here. This is. Just a shelf, it's about a couple inches deep maybe. It'll hold up to 20 pounds, pretty cool. I, I suppose you could put something on there like a gallon of paint or something. Uh, right now I've just got a couple tools sitting on it, but let's move on to these two right here. So these are two separate items. They, they lock in just like that paper towel holder did, but this will hold a couple different power tools, uh, even with batteries on. So there's room on there to put a battery. And you could hold it like that if you'd like which is really cool. Uh, you can even turn it around so you can see what type of tool is hanging in there. I like that. This is a really cool um, addition to the system. You've got a little bit of storage in the back here and on top. So you've got that other top uh, shelf as well. This will hold 25 pounds. Very cool. Now, shame on you if you missed my video about the Packout charger. However, as you can see, locks right on there. Very cool. Uh, this has been a really cool addition. I haven't had it very, very long, so you can see it's still quite new. But check these out. This is probably one of my favorite additions to the system overall, and it's this battery holder. So these are for, there's two of them here. These are for the M18 batteries, and they'll accommodate every size of the battery that they have. As you can see, here's a uh, three amp, Here's a five, some nines, 12, eight, you know, everything you can imagine fits perfectly in here. These are very cool. I'm a big M12 fan, so I got some M12 battery holders as well. These are really cool. They lock on just like the, the um, paper towel holder. So there you go. There's that twist lock situation there. Very cool. Uh, nice little addition here to make the most of your space. All right, so quickly move through a couple other accessories here that I think are really cool. So you've got a utility hook here. You could use this to hang a ladder, 
uh, any kind of outdoor power equipment might, that might hang on that, some hoses, or like I've got here a cord. Has that locking feature so it's not gonna come off. Very cool, it'll hold up to 25 pounds. Uh, another utility hook here, I'm just kind of using it to stabilize my trimmer or the power head with the bristle brush on it. Uh, very cool. I like this. Uh, I think this would be great for like shovels or something like that. But as you can see, kind of a utility uh, use for it for me. Right now I've got my, uh, the rubber paddle, like the broom for the trimmer. That is being held up by this cool contraption here. So this will hold like three different devices, more mostly like a handled tool, brooms, things like that. But here's the string trimmer attachment here. And all you have to do to use this is just push it in. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just friction fit in there. It's really tight, it's not going anywhere. I've got a utility hook there holding up a handle. And then my blower, the new uh, dual battery blower hanging on another hook there. So very cool stuff. You could you, you could see using, uh, setting this up like in a garden shed or wherever you've got your outdoor power equipment kind of set up like that. Really kind of organizes it all and, and allows you to see that you haven't left something uh, laying around. You've got a good spot for it. So pretty cool stuff. I'm impressed by it. I like the panel lengths here with the wall plates and stuff like that. It gives you a lot of uh, versatility in how you can lay things out. All right, last but not least, let's fi finish this up with one of the most anticipated items added to this uh, pack out storage system overall. And it's not just a shop storage item. So I wanted to wait and just kind of show you this separately. So this is the new pack out cabinet. And as you can see, it can be mounted along with your other pack out boxes. Okay, just like that. On this one here, I've got some stuff like my spray chemicals, some hand wipes, things like that. Uh, just to kind of show you what could fit in there. Got like that kind of cupboard bread door kind of action on it. But like I said, it doesn't just mount to the other boxes. It also mounts to the wall. Okay. So as you can see, there's your hooks on the back and there's your locking mechanism on the top. You can quickly and easily take it off of your stack and put it on your rack, right? So pretty cool. Uh, pack out mug. I thought that was gonna be kind of cheesy at first, but actually I use it more than I think, or more than I thought I would. And what shop storage wouldn't be complete without a nice IPA in your cabinet. So there you go. Pretty useful, pretty versatile. I like it. Oh, also on the cabinet, it's got a little locking hole right there. Maybe in case you don't want your buddies to be drinking your beers. Hopefully this is useful. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'd like to thank you for stopping by. Have a good one.